Hey folks, I was just doing a workout in my garage and I had a pause and I happened to look at some messages and one of the messages was a question from a student asking a detail about Gherkin. And so instead of continuing with my workout, which I will do in a minute, uh, I decided to record a quick video to answer that question because it is a really good question. The question was, uh, basically, this guy was writing Gherkin scenarios about uh, testing some sort of registration form. And his manager told him, you have to fill out all the details, put all the fields in to these Gherkin scenarios. So given Sally wants to register when she enters her name as blah and her address as blah and her date of birth as blah, all the way down to your 40 fields registered, entered in this Gherkin scenario. Uh, and what I told him was, no, don't do that. Stop it, it's an anti-pattern. The reason it's an anti-pattern is that we have a thing that we say in BDD, you need to include the essential, but exclude the incidental. And what that means is that you need to include any details that are relevant for the business rule that your scenario is illustrating. So if you are writing a scenario that relates to, say, the country of origin of the customer. So given Frank is from Germany, uh, when he registers, then German VAT should apply to his account, something like that. Or you could have a table with different countries and different VAT rates to show how the business rule applies for different cases. That, in that case, the field is relevant, but if you have other fields like address, name, date of birth, anything else, favorite color, whatever, that are not relevant for the scenario you're talking about, then you don't need to include them in the gherkin. And so the question comes up, where do you put them? Somewhere else. You put them inside your step definitions. You use template data. You use uh, default values. There are lots of ways you can avoid having that incidental information in your gherkin and stopping it from corrupting and polluting your living documentation and making your uh, scenarios harder to maintain. So that's my tip. That was my answer for this particular question. Avoid putting incidental information into your gherkin scenarios. Right, that's all for now. I'm going to get back to my workout.